And first at 10, taunting on the ice. A teenage hockey player targeted by bullies for the color of his skin. Their words taking a toll on his feelings and confidence. He's now getting support from an NHL superstar who got word of his story. 7 Action News reporter Ellen Campbell in Dearborn with the message that's helping to lift this teen's spirits. The hockey rink is a place to escape the outdoor noise, things you might be dealing with in your life, like school or even bullying. But for Ty Cornette, the bullying wasn't at school. It was here on the ice. They like to say the N-word. I've heard that a lot. And they say monkey, and they like to bang their chest. 13-year-old Ty Cornette is an aspiring NHL hockey player. He's recently been dealing with racial and bullying issues on the ice. It makes me feel like horrible because we they used to be my friend and stuff. He currently plays for the Plymouth Stingrays. He one day wants to be just like his idol, P.K. Subban. He's such a good person. He makes kids do the right thing on and off the ice. And he has really good style. Throughout Ty's troubles, his father Matthew says it was hard to see his son go through the pain. No matter how many times I could say something, Somebody else who went through it, somebody else who's similar, hearing it from him, Ty just, he latched onto it. It's, it's, a, it's been amazing. Starting a two on one, short handed, and Subban scores! But a likely hero by way of Nashville Predators superstar PK Subban reached out to Ty to brighten his spirits. Let nobody tell you what you can and can't do, especially if it's because of the color of your skin. Ty says it's been tough throughout this experience, but understands in this journey we call life, there will be many ups and downs and it's the ups you always have to remember. Just don't let it affect you. Don't let it get to your head and just skate away. If you are an athlete experiencing similar issues that Ty did, be sure to first tell your coach don't hold it in. And remember, you are never alone. Reporting in Dearborn, I'm Ali Campbell, 7 Action News.